To pass the NCLEX examination, the NCSB will administer a minimum of 75 questions to you and a maximum of 145 questions. Although I read somewhere recently that it's 265, but I doubt if that's true because a lot of things have changed on NCLEX. Today on my channel, I'll be sharing with you my NCLEX journey. I was able to pass my exam at one sitting, the materials I used, and um, some of the materials that I found really helpful, and the ones that I found, you know, not so. Mm. And please note that these are going to be based on my own opinion. I am not here to tarnish anyone's work. I appreciate everyone putting out information there. I appreciate everyone doing books, you know, authors, reviewers, and publishers. But um, of course, we cannot like every book. And uh, in as much as I do not like every book, does not mean I do not appreciate the work or the amount of work put into that book or making that book. I do appreciate it. I'm just saying, at that particular time, the book is not meeting my demand. And as a YouTuber and as somebody that put out information that wants others not to, you know, I try to. Whatever I find helpful, I share. Whatever I find not so helpful, I also try to tell others to avoid it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, basically. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video. Please make sure to like this video. A lot of times we watch the video, so many views and little likes. Please make sure to like this video. Share with somebody. I'll see you right channel if you all look like is my name and i film from the country of canada as you can tell from the thumbnail today we're going to be discussing my english journey and the materials that i find really helpful don't mind me i just like to be dramatic today is sunday so i thought uh -uh, as a yoruba woman concerned let me give you people something you know let's take a bit let's take a plain moment to appreciate this dress come on i am a yoruba woman and this is how i like to show this is how i like to dress this is how i like to turn out you know ha. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> I just wanted to <clears throat> make somebody smile. Please make sure to like this video. Have you liked this video? Kindly make sure to like this video. It's very important. Drop your opinion, drop your comment. I'll be responding to everyone. Now, when I, I got my ATT December, I know October um, 26th. Is that October? Yes, I got my ATT October 26th. And when I got the ATT, you know, I was really jittery. I was. In fact, everything in my system just changed. I started acting like a woman in labor. I was just facing around my house because I was really scared. I'm not going to write the NCLEX examination. I didn't expect my ACT to come that fast. And you know, it came really fast. I'm like, hold up. I'm going to write the NCLEX. Is that? So I was just really disorganized. Let's put it that way. So, you know, I, I remember that I did not write, I didn't do well with my LPN examination. Because I did LPN examination twice, I only passed on the third attempt, and I'm like, I'm not going to do the same thing this time. But what happened there was number one, I don't find it easy to read it. I share that. I'm going to share the link. I shared that in my previous video. And number two, I didn't have a grasp of what it took to, you know, write a multiple choice examination. I didn't have all the knowledge that I needed. Um, passing the class examination is not just about reading content. It's about content and strategy. You have to learn those two things. You need both content and your strategies i'm going to drop in the link of a youtuber that i find really helpful her strategy below this video in the description box yes so you need those you need to marry those two things together so when my husband saw that what's wrong with this girl she just really pissed around the house and all these things he did something that he took an action of faith now this is not just for uh, christians anybody can watch this video and whatever whatever religion you practice i want you to you know exercise faith in that religion because at the end of the day a lot of time for me that's my belief it's not just about my intellectual knowledge my physical knowledge it's about god saying this is the right time and this is your time for you to practice examination we all believe in god even if our religions differ so my husband did a name tag for me i forgot to bring it upstairs he did a name tag for me and the name tag reads ellen olowo fella registered names so he used that name tag and um, he said it as my whatsapp wallpaper so anytime i'm chatting with anyone on whatsapp because whatsapp is the app i think i use the most i see that name tag it reminds me of the dream it reminds me of the drive it reminds me that i have to read so maybe do something that reminds you of that vision i love that father my husband did that for me just told me one day that baby i'm like i'm like how am I supposed to say to the <laughs> When I got downstairs, I saw it uh, wrapped. I'm like, oh my god, what's this? I saw my name on it. I just stand up. So it kind of 
it made me happy, made me smile, and it kind of drove me to action. Because everything, because it now makes sure that it's something I see every day, every day. Like, so you can also take a step of faith. You don't have to be a Christian to take a step of faith. You can paste it somewhere on your wall, register notes, write your name, bold, write it on your wall. Like, not, not with marker, please don't spoil your house. You can use a sticker, you know, write it there, see it every morning. It drives you to, it drives your inner man that there is work to be done. Enough of that. So, uh, you know, the first thing I did was I asked somebody who had passed in class. So I'm going to be moving to, I'm going to be moving to, okay, I need to pass one very important information because it happened to me. Now, for the NCLEX examination, you can pass at 75, you can pass at 90, you can pass at 100, you can pass at 135. Uh, some people will say the more the question you do, the probability that you are not doing well or something. I don't like to believe in that. Personally, personal opinion. We've had people pass at 75 and we have had people, you know, do otherwise at 75. We have had people pass at 130. We have had people do otherwise at 130. I, I, just two days ago, I, I'm, I'm probably going to attach it. Somebody failed at NCLEX examination and won for the five question. Just two days ago, it was I, I follow some NCLEX group on Facebook. And, you know, she, for the, she starts for the 05 hours and then she still failed the examination. So, you know, I mean, this is not to trigger anything, please. Just perhaps you have written the exam before and, you know, this is not to trigger anything. This is just us sharing and rubbing my feet. So, yeah, this is not to trigger anything. We are all here to learn together. And, you know, I have shared my journey with you. I am not the same myself. I failed license practical nursing examination two times. I only passed on the last and third attempt. So that means I am human as well. So, yeah. Um, because when I wrote my examination the, at 70, I was thinking my computer would show that at 75, trust me. So at 70, when I saw 76, I'm like, hey, maybe I am behaving very badly. Why is my computer still running? You know, I wanted to start crying at that point. I might just still be fed that tears with more drop. You are not going to cry. Continue that exam. Just keep writing. Keep doing what you're doing. I just kept that it. And every break, the computer will give you break. <laughs> The computer will give you breaks for every I think I had two to three scheduled breaks. For every break I had, I did not go for break my sister. Because even before I stopped that seven, I, I was I, I, I even before my computer didn't shut at 75. The reason I already conditioned my mind that I'm not going for break in this exam. Because I felt I don't know if my computer will shut at 75 or at 130 or at 145 or at 80 or something. I'm, I'm just like, I won't go for this break. For any break at all so every break i got every time the computer prompts me to go for break i was just praying holy spirit just help me just help me in this exam that's all just help me i just kept praying that's what i used my break for and another thing i felt was if i take a break and then i suffer from insufficient time who do i tell it to that i probably know the answer but i had no time to write the answer that i knew so i was really panicking for myself because trust me, I spent the whole five hours in the exam hall. My son cried the most that day. I spent the whole five hours writing the class examination because my computer refused to shut at 75. And another thing I think may be responsible was that I forgot the value of bond, broad urine nitrogen. Or my head was just telling me 20 to 40. Where did I get that from? I don't know. It's 10 to 20. Where did I get 20 to 40 from? I don't know. But my dear sisters and brothers, I, I made a mistake at first and the computer brought me bone question two more times. If that was not God's grace, tell me what it is. Two more times the computer brought me bone question. Like, I want to know if you truly know this thing because I don't know why you failed it at first. So the computer is computer adaptive test. So when she perform really high, it keeps giving you, you know, things in the medium level. If you perform like at the medium level, if you do not perform well, it brings you down to the easy level. So there's easy, there's medium and there's hard. It brings you down to the easy level. That's what I discovered. So, because me, for my question, I did one for the five, and I tell you, I thought I one for the five question, half with SATA. Select so all that applies. Once I do one question, it brings me SATA. Once so I do one question, it brings me SATA. And for the for the NCLEX examination, you know, the practice questions we use, all this are why you would and all this thing. They have very long scenarios, like three, four lines sometimes, sometimes two lines. In NCLEX examination, what you're getting is just like a line. Let me show you what I mean. So, if a scenario is like from here i'm gonna show you on my computer but my sons my children are sleeping you try from here to here on your on your u word for the for the end class examination what you're getting is just this it's just from this line to this line or sometimes maybe let's say the longest from this line to this line that's what you get like just 
and but your answers are the conflicting thing you have to deal with you have to be that's why you have to develop a critical thinking skills because the answers are going to be very confusing your question is short precise straight to the point no story but your answer very very confusing answers so you have to develop critical thinking skills you also have to develop your strategies very well and know your content so that's all about that so when i when i got to, immediately i got to 85 question the computer started giving me the format and styles of questions that i did in the world i did three four lines five lines kind of questions i was panicking like why is that computer? so NCLEX is individual just like medicine is individualistic you don't say because patient a did well with a particular medication you want to give it to patient b that is reacting to that medication you won't do that right so in class is dealing with you as an individual don't look at that oh, my friend I, my friend stop at your defense why is my computer today you're panicking if you panic you'll be able to write what you what you will know don't panic just focus and continue if you are still writing you're still in the game and some people that will say oh uh, maybe if you do want to five questions but i don't know too much my dear sister don't mind it a pass is a pass a win is a win and i'm rooting for you because you can do this exam and you can make it let nobody tell you that you cannot pass in class once or if you have you know done otherwise before you can pass it this time even if you have done otherwise before i just need you to be strategic about it so that's that about um my endless um journey for that day you know i was really panicking and i think after an hour or there about or less than that i did the the trick there's a trick that people do you put in you act like you want to write the exam again and then you put in your card but you miss some numbers and you know it brought, it brought me the good pop up and i was like thank you jesus <laughs> thank you jesus so i got a good pop up and that was it so now to the to the uh, materials that i found really helpful let's go to the materials that i found i knew i was going to write the entrance examination i contacted um a friend who just passed on my book and she said oh no so fella i use this book rema nothing anyways i i thought to buy it because she said she she read for the class within two or three weeks and she was still able to pass i didn't ask her what number of question because personally that does not matter to me what matters to me is that you passed so if you tell me you passed my class examination i'm not likely to ask you as how many question you passed i'm happy for you and i'm rejoicing that's that's what matters you have the title i read that's what matters to me so yes i bought the book and so she's going to when you buy it was um over 400 or close to 500 dollars because it was in usd by the time she converted by the time i got it converted in cad so she's going to send you this book this one is a workbook you're going to have a quick fat i borrowed somebody the quick fat and then you're also going to be entitled to our online training models now it's very okay it's helpful but for me it wasn't what i wanted because it was not so deep i would say it's really surface it's really very surface she although you know she usually said the NCLEX is an entry exam yes it is but you have to know the graphs you have to be able to grasp those strategy and content it's not just about surface but this is my personal opinion please don't get me wrong so it was surface for me so i was not really going i was doing i did over 60 percent of the of the training model the online training model but i think at some point i just stopped i'm like this is not really meeting the kind of demands i want because when i see questions in the air classes I'm, I'm able to answer right but not as much as i want to so i just really was not going to but she has a timetable so perhaps you don't mind she has a timetable you can follow you can buy but the money is a lot so it's not just what you want to buy because of timetable but if you want to buy it it's okay i'm just this is my personal opinion so i left it for some time then i found them um, um um, I subscribe to you what I started doing you what now when you start doing you what it's okay for you to get thrown up balance like what am I getting 20 over 100 or, or 30 over whatever you're doing because you don't know your content yet so it's okay for you to not get it but I know as human we get you know really low morale and all that so what I did was that because I knew I didn't have all the time I didn't go to start with the test but if you know you have all the time say you have like four five months six months before your exam because if you have three months i will not personally say go and start reading all the things do you know how much Sundays is do you know how much all this um it's a lot about four thousand pages when am i going to finish that so i told myself no reading test all over again would not work for me that's a, that's a personal opinion i did not go so what i did was that as i do my you what you what is very good rationale oh my god i love it you what what anyone i missed i did not get very well i read the rationale in fact if that's all you can even read that you're not adding anything extra you what has a way to do it that they are giving you everything you need for nclex nothing extra even the values i follow their values 
college. But I don't know I forgot born. I forgot born on the day of exam. So I I I I, I use your word. So if I miss it, I'm just like mm, this is a learning curve. If I miss, I don't really get bothered. Sometimes I get bothered. Sometimes I don't get bothered. Then there's something else you should note. When you do a particular question and you miss that question, check the percentage of people that got that question right. Because if you have 80% getting that question right and you are getting it wrong, there's a problem. And you need to work on that question. You need to work on that topic immediately. But if you see a question and then you get it right and people that got it right were just 25, that's good. Because the computer is going to reach you really high if you do that kind of thing in the exam. Like the question that people are not getting a lot. But the question that everybody knows and you, are not, you don't know it or you are failing it, oh my god, there is a problem. And you need to work on that question immediately. So when you are reading for exam, either you're using your word Asha, um, simple nothing, they usually give you the percentage of people that passed it. If a lot of people are passing that thing and you are feeling it, there is problem. You should read that topic very well. Now that is that. So that that's that for you. That's why so for my you word, I did system by system. If I'm doing endocrine today, that's all I'm doing. So I, I give myself. So what I do was that if endocrine is 600 questions, I'm like, okay. Um, I'll finish it within 10 days. I give myself a time frame. I did not really stick to the time frame, so I don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure. So what I do is sometimes I'll just say, oh, I'll do 50 questions today. So in the morning, when my son has gone to school, you know, I have two children, no help, just my husband. I'll do um, maybe 20 or 25. Sometimes I do 50 at the stretch. When I'm not doing Instagram and all these things, I'm, when, I, when I leave social media, I'm able to concentrate better. So I do... 50 at the stretch under two hours sometimes three hours i'm done with 50 questions so it also depends on your strength and your you know ability to reason and, and as you practice question your thinking ability your critical thinking skills will increase as you increase your question will start flying you can even do 50 questions under one hour but not at the beginning stage there is always a beginning phase even the bible says do not despise the day of little begin there is always that day of little beginning that you don't want to throw away you want to hold it tight so that's what I did. I make sure that I do 50 questions. That, so in November, I didn't really read too much in November. I was just reading small small. But anything from December, my sister, I picked speed and raise. And I changed my exam date three times. So if you know you're not too um, ready, you can change your exam date. You have to just give them 24 hours. So that's the least. Make sure that it's at least 24 hours before your test date. For me, I was once is a week, and I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. I'll change it. So I change it three times. On the third time, I wanted to even change it. You just read that you're not changing it. Go right to your exam. Because I told you you're not passing because you are bread. You're passing because I'm holding your hands, right? So what's the problem? And God sends a lot of my friends to confirm that I'm like, oh, girl, I'm good to go. The grace of God is upon me. In fact, a day before my exam, I did your word assessment, and do you know what I got? 40%. Though my heart, I was so tired, I was so tired that night. And my husband told me, Don't I don't do this assessment. You already tired, go and sleep. That's the PI I was using to do the assessment. I was dozing. I really, really don't sleep. I was with him, calling him, breastfeeding, all these things. I sh so the you would have you would not give me, yeah, you're not ready for this exam. I was panicked, I started crying. My mind was like, go and write your exam. You are the one that caused this problem yourself. So sometimes, so assess yourself. You don't want to write this exam for you, but I basically just did it system by system. Another thing I did that really helped me was that before I attempt your word questions, if I'm going to be doing cardiology today, for example, I would listen to um, Simple Nursing. Don't joke with that guy, no smile. Don't ever joke with Simple Nursing. The guy is a wizard. I mean, whatever, anything you need on the NCLEX for that particular system is what no smile could teach you. On you word on 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 what is it called on YouTube nothing extra nothing missing I listen to simple nothing of mic before I attempt my cardio by the time I attempt the question believe me I'm getting almost I'm getting like 40 over 50 if I'm doing um 50 sometimes I get 30 do mine but it's always better than this guy is always better than what I do when I don't listen to him so I listen to his video the video was really of one then later I subscribed to his plan because he has an endless plan it's hundred dollars per month I subscribe to his plan as well that was another thing I did with my my with my U word and another thing I want you to take note of is ensure to do at least three thousand questions before you go and you can do more than that, but at least 3,000 questions before you go and challenge the NCLEX examination, please. I almost finished my over 2,000 questions on my U-Word bank, 
and then you know there are some other facebook group i join i do questions there if you go to facebook and search for and click i probably drop the links of the facebook one i find really helpful um i also join with a telegram channel we do questions together whatsapp we do questions so anyway everything i was just thinking was n clicks that's why i told people don't send me dms anymore on, on instagram i went off social media i was everything was n clicks i listened then i listened to audios a lot please it helped it was very helpful so as a married woman or even if you are not married you have to marry to write english right even if you don't have children you don't have husband you still want to wash you want to cook you want to um you know look good for yourself you want to make your hair so as you're making your hair as you're cleaning your house as you're doing whatever you're doing listen to audio i bought my husband got me what is it called an headphone the headphone is so helpful i just play the video and i'm listening if i'm the only one at home i put my headphone if my husband and children everybody is in the house i play it from youtube and as i'm watching plays i'm listening so anyone you do not get rewind it listen again trust me it is entry it's going somewhere audios were really helpful for me i was listening to as i'm beating zion i listen to audio as i'm beating i i listen to, as i'm dressing them every minute i was always it, it's it's strenuous it's going to strain you trust me because there was nothing that grows in the comfort zone and then my eyes started paining me at the point because i exposed my, my eyes to a lot of lights from laptop from phone from tv and everything was in class i had so i started wearing um sunshades in the house you see me that time in my house i'm wearing sunshade to read because that was the only thing that made my and i had to rest that eyes in fact my friend yanolua said you know so i don't read for you to 24 hours just rest your eyes and i'm grateful for my friend yanu i'm grateful for consultant peace she really helped me to read you know and you ask, i think you also need people not even think you need people if you know you're a, you are a, someone that likes group reading like me maybe you need to find one of your friends that you read to read together peace practically was calling me every day and we're reading together when it was at least two weeks to my exam with her but we're reading together every day she'll call me we'll read we'll do a class questions together and if you have somebody that can you know open your understanding to us analyzing class question it's so helpful i was not unable to analyze my questions the peace came in like this is how you do it so we analyze so analyzing your question makes it easier for you i tell you analyze your question oh my god it makes it so easy for you and i'm going to also drop a link for a youtuber i find really helpful for strategy and clash crusader very helpful for strategy his tips are amazing so that that was that was that was I, I targeted you would i did system by system that was i did my you would and i don't think i subscribed to people sharing you words together although i did like a couple of times my friend but when it was close to my exam because of our one, um, you know, you, you don't know the question you would be able to, you would maybe come across or something. I didn't really come across question, but just one. It looked like it, but it wasn't it, but the answers were alike. So I used that sense and understanding to answer that question. So I think it's better for you to buy your U-Word alone and subscribe to it alone, do your U-Word on your own, than having two, five people buying U-Word together. Because the person is also doing the U-Word, they're also doing it. So how do you assess yourself? Because if you're saying, my target to do 2,000 questions is to do 50 per day. So let's say you have done um, 50 times 5, you have done 250 out of that over 2,000 questions. And somebody else has done another 250, how do you assess that? Oh, this is what I have remaining. This is how many days I'm going to spread. Because you're supposed to spread your question across some days so that you're able to finish up. But if somebody is using it with you, how do you want to achieve that? I hope you understand what I mean. If you don't understand what I mean, I'll be happy to answer you if you just type that you don't understand this part. So that was it for you, Word. Then simple nursing. Don't joke with simple nursing. Please and please. Don't joke with simple nursing. Maclemic audio. I was using my listen to listen to Maclemic audio. At least I know I listened to the audio two times. Not everything, but maybe the first. For me, not everything. I didn't listen to everything. I won't lie to you. But what I did was that um, my friend sent me a link. So this is the Maclemic audio that somebody has put into um, like um, physical books. So I, I finished this one. I finished it. It was really helpful. So the audios were because at the point I started having ear pain. So the audios were up, are all here. I just read. If you leave the link, I would. If you, I will send it to you. Maybe by my Instagram. I don't think. It, I don't think it's a link I can paste. I will see if I can paste it. Please check the description box of this video. I'm going to drop a lot of things. I will help you there. So that's for Maclemic audio. Then there's also one book, both standard for English. It's so good. That book is a lot. It's about 130 pages. But when you are, when it's when it's like um, three weeks to your exam or four weeks to your exam, every day read like this 20 page. I did finish the book. I won't lie to you, but I read it. At least I did almost 60 percent of the book. They have important points in the book that you're going to read for NCLEX. So make sure you read at least 20 to 30 pages every day. That's what I did every day. Sometimes I don't read the 20 pages. So when I remember again, I, I read. I read it together, I merge it together, I read everything together. It was then there's another one that is called Cramp Plan. Now, note that I didn't use all this 
and then I'm listening to you like fully use them. The one I really I know I used a lot fully was simple nothing and you would. Those are the two material that I stuck with. But the rest I was just you know pick from here, pick from there. So then Asha for Asha, I find uh, my friend gave me a uh, part of her Asha for a week. I think she had a week left after she passed. For Asha, I feel is a simpler version of you would. Yes, so Asha because I don't so a lot of you would before I saw the Asha. So the Acha was now, I was just vibing with it like you get getting 60, getting 70, but I won't get that in you world, mind you. So I think Acha is, but I've seen people say they passed with it. However, it's not what I really bank on, like fully bank on. So I probably mix, if I'm going to do Acha alone, I'll probably mix Acha with um, Simple Nursing and you world. So I, the ones I, those are my top three Acha, Simple Nursing and you world, those are my top three. But Simple Nursing. Especially buying his um NCLEX guide hundred dollars on the CAD. I don't know how much that will be in USD. It's so helpful. Anything you miss, any question you do not get right, it will give you a video rationale. You know, you open the understanding when you when you're not just reading. Because me, I like hearing voices. So hearing voice really helped me. Like this is not how you do it. This is tired to psychosis. This is this, this is that. Then for prioritization and delegation, Dr. Enkles I yield that is um Ask Graph Mnemonics really helped me for prioritization and delegation. I use Enkles I yield. I listened to his video on prioritization and delegation. That was what I, I did. Enkles I yield probably dropped his link as well. So uh, basically, those are the materials that I find really helpful and super helpful for me. When I then there are some YouTubers, let me list my top YouTubers Simple Nursing. Eclairs I yield, not a lot, but I did simple nothing almost 70% of the video, even 80%. I watched that guy's video. Even I'm always on his page. He, he posts weekly um blockbusters. I go there. Simple nothing, my top YouTuber. Um Doctor, uh, what's his name? What's the name of this? Enclass Crusader, my top YouTuber. There's also one other doctor. Nexus nothing. Oh my god, she treats questions. So as I'm watching my play, I'm this I'm, I play a, a, a Nexus nursing. She will treat the question on skin, we treat question on endocrine, on cardiology. She treats every question. So I just play all that. I don't play a normal video of talking talking. Just the question. I stay with it and I listen. You know, it helped it helped me a lot. Um yeah, basically I think those are the YouTubers that I find really helpful for my when it comes to what is it. Then group reading. Reading, I told you, I, I did not pass this in class in room. My friend, peace. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ju. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yanulua, thank you so much. We read together. We always praying together. Prayers. You don't have to be a Christian to pray. Prayer works wonders. Prayer works wonders. So my friend prayed with me. We prayed together. You know, we agreed. Dr. Timmy, Dr. Mikuli, thank you so much. Tolu Lokpe, thank you so much for always encouraging me, calling me. The Soul Sisters, thank you so much. Makati, with the family, thank you so much, everyone. Dr. Nostambo, um, Falasha Day, um, she's how you miss this, Shubanjo, but that's, that's not that. That's what I married name now. So I miss people. I, I I'm always I get I, I mix people's name up when I'm kind of tense or something like this. So that was it basically for me. And my last note to you will be that you can do the entrance, you can pass the entrance, you just need to develop your strategy. And also we're going to start doing two or three times in a week free questions 50 questions per day i still have some left on my simple nursing but i don't want to just give it out to somebody that will not use it so i felt okay let me come to the channel it's going to be a live session we'll do questions together one side i, I bring my friends to teach us about rationale i tend to make it fun because by april the new generation in class is starting and i feel if you want to write your in class please write now because uh, when you finish in class now, they would give you some of the questions for the from the NGN. I didn't find it so easy. I didn't find it funny. The scenarios were a lot. On one question, I had two paragraphs for the NGN. One question, two paragraphs. So in that one, you have everything about the patient. Sorry, excuse me. How many kids they have? The family. If if all they need is bone, they will give you all its value. They give you bone. They give you creatinine. They give you um sodium. They give you potassium. They give you all the values. You know, the normal clients they just give you maybe part of the values you need. This one they give you all the values. So you're supposed to now mentally assess which one do I really need for this client. Which one? so I did just two questions. And I had to log out because I already I did one for the five question and then they brought me the engine again. I was going to willing to accept it, but I'm like. I'm tired. I just locked down. So, I would advise that if you are going to write your NCLEX, please do before April if you can. But if you cannot, people can still pass the April exam. I'm not saying people cannot pass it. I'm only saying that I feel it requires more dedication, more attention, more, uh, you know, reading than what the um, normal, the NCLEX we're doing right now requires. So, don't forget um, my top 
um eclipse um um subscription that i did you word simple i did you word just once i did you word about three times but the first two times were with my friends so the last one was the one i know i practically did on my own the one i did with my friend i was not i was not serious but the one i did on my one my exam was getting close yes that one i was very very serious then if you are somebody that likes reading from paper it's not outdated do print on paper I me mean, i did a lot of printing on paper a friend gave me one box, I didn't even put that one at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you watch the video, say, if I didn't open my book, I'm sorry. I wanted to open it, but I was just a little overwhelmed. But you can do it. You can pass the class once. You want, all you need is strategy and content, not just content. You need to know strategy. You need to know when is an emergency situation, when you need to assess. It's everything is not assessment. Every answer is not assessment. You also need to know that on the NCLEX, pain is not an emergency on the NCLEX. You need to really you need to know the mind of NCLEX. You need to be able to speak their mind. You need to be able to read their mind for each question so that you can answer it well. Don't worry, by the time we start that NCLEX two or three times a week question, you would see what I'm saying very well. I'm also going to be dropping some of the links. I just want to check my book to be sure that I did not miss anything i don't think i missed anything i think i have spoken about everything i intend to talk about on this video if you have questions you know already know what to do it's me up in the comment section i answer every question don't forget to like my video please enjoy eh, shalom like my video please drop video comment i'll see you again in my next video if you're low or low if you like is my name i'll see you